Hey guys, welcome to TJ Tech. Nintendo recently had a launch event for the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch is a gaming console which acts both as a traditional console and a portable gaming device. It's more like a combination between the PlayStation and the PSP. It kind of builds on top of the Wii U, but the difference is that the Wii U was a console which had a tablet that's kind of like the controller. In this case, the tablet is the console. So what is the Switch made up of? The Switch has the Nintendo Switch itself, which is the tablet, which is the gaming console, which is what you would game with. The Nintendo Switch dock, which connects to your television. You get the Joy-Cons, which are the left and right Joy-Cons, and these are the controllers. They're actually really cool because they have something that Nintendo calls the HD Rumble, which gives you better understanding of what the Rumbles are. It's really worth watching the Nintendo launch event to see what the kind of thing is, and there'll be a link, in, link of that in the description below. The right Joy-Con also has an IR camera that detects gestures and distances from the controller. The Joy-Cons also have accelerometers, which kind of make it work like how you would game with a phone, and you can tilt to make different actions. And there are certain games that are specifically geared towards this feature. The Joy-Con is also pretty versatile as a controller. You can use each controller as an individual controller. You can also use them as attached to the Nintendo Switch when you're holding it sort of as a tablet. You can also use both the controllers together in something called the Joy-Con grip. This works more like a traditional controller. One of the cool ones is that you can hand one Joy-Con to a friend and you guys can game together. More on that a little later. Obviously a new console means what are the kind of games that you would get with it. There are quite a few exclusive titles for the Nintendo Switch. Obviously in traditional Nintendo style, there's the Super Mario game which is called Odyssey. It's more of an open world, sort of GTA-ish version of Super Mario. You also get certain games like Platoon 2, ARMS, Mario Kart, 1-2 Switch, and the biggest release would, which is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And if you look at the demos of this game, it's pretty cool. There are also a bunch of other exclusives which you can check out on the links in the description. Other games that will be coming for the Nintendo Switch include Skyrim, Minecraft, FIFA, NBA 2K18, Sonic Mania, and a bunch of others. We don't know all the specs of the Nintendo Switch, but what we do know is that it comes with a 6.2 inch 720p capacitive multi-touch display. What that means is that it has a resolution of 1280 by 720p on the tablet. When, when you dock the Nintendo Switch, it has a video output of 1080p that goes directly to your TV. It also has a kickstand, 32 GB of internal storage, which is expandable with a micro SD card. The battery is set to last anywhere from two and a half to six and a half hours depending on the kind of game that you're playing, which kind of makes sense because if you're, if you're playing something like Zelda while it's portable, it's going to be quite intensive, while some of the other games may not require as much battery. It also has a USB Type-C port, which can be used to charge and play at the same time. And what's really cool about this is that you can also charge the Nintendo Switch with your portable power bank. So it can give you potentially more than the six and a half hours of gameplay. It is said that the Nintendo Switch will have a NVIDIA Tegra X1 chip and that the GPU will be based on the NVIDIA GeForce architecture. Now the GPU will be running at 768 megahertz, but this is only when it's docked. The entire system will run at about 40% or about 50% capacity when it's in the tablet mode or at the handheld mode. Because the Nintendo Switch is something so different, there are many ways or gaming modes, as Nintendo calls it, for the Nintendo Switch. The most obvious one is the dock mode, which is when the Nintendo Switch is in the dock. It gives you an output of 1080p on the resolution. It maxes out the performance because you don't really care about battery life at this point. The other mode is something called the handheld mode. This is when the Joy-Cons are attached to the sides of the Nintendo Switch tablet and you kind of hold it in your hands and you play the game that you want. There's also something called the tabletop mode. This is where you prop out the kickstand, put it on a table, and the Joy-Cons are in your hand. Now in this, in this scenario, you can either use both the Joy-Cons together or you can give the Joy-Con to one of the Joy-Cons to your friend. This kind of also applies to the dock mode where you can kind of compete with someone in split screen. And you also have one of the options of putting the Joy-Cons into something called the Joy-Con grip and use it more like a traditional controller. One of the other controllers that you get as an optional extra is something called the Nintendo Switch Pro. This is more like a traditional controller, which is very similar to the one that you get with the Xbox. Some of the other modes that I kind of like 
is something called face off. This is when you go where you can do kind of like a wild west shootout and you're not really looking at the screen. You can also connect eight Nintendo Switches in a LAN setting and you have online gaming with the, with the Nintendo Switch online service. The online service has some of the traditional stuff like online lobby and voice chat app, but these aren't necessarily going to be launched with the Nintendo Switch. It's supposed to be added on later. You also get exclusive deals and something like monthly game downloads, which is a little confusing because we don't know if you get to keep the game only for a month or you get to keep it forever. These features are not something that's new because they've existed with the Xbox and the PlayStation's online networks, so nothing great here. It's kind of Nintendo catching up to the game. What you get with the Nintendo Switch when you buy it is, of course, the Nintendo Switch itself, which is, like I said before, the tablet. It's got a kickstand and everything. It's, you also get the Nintendo Switch dock, which connects to your television. You get the two Joy-Con controllers, the left and the right one. The Joy-Con grip, which is where you connect the two Joy-Cons together and use it kind of like a traditional controller. You get Joy-Con straps for each controller. This is kind of cool because you don't want to throw your Joy-Cons in the middle of playing something, so you can kind of strap this on. And it also helps with some of the buttons. You also get the HDMI cable and the AC adapter. The Joy-Cons and the Joy-Con strap do come in a few color options. Right now, these are black, pink, and blue. One of the things I want to mention is that the Joy-Cons are actually really good controllers by themselves. Each controller kind of makes an entire controller. It has the tabs, it has the buttons, it has the stick, direction buttons, and action buttons. It has pretty much everything that you could want in a controller. So competing with someone with two Joy-Con controllers on one Nintendo Switch, that sounds like something that could be actually a rece recipe for a lot of fun. The expected release date of the Nintendo Switch is the 3rd of March. It's going to cost $300 in USA, it's going to cost £280 in UK, and about 29,980 yen in Japan. There's no official release date or price for the UAE, but you know, when the Nintendo Switch launches worldwide, you can expect it to be pretty expensive here in the Middle East, and I would imagine it would eventually boil down to around 1,200 to 1,300 dirhams. That's all about the Nintendo Switch today. I hope you guys like this video. Do let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the Nintendo Switch. Would you be considering getting one? Are there any things that you like or dislike about the Nintendo Switch? Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video. Do subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a good one.